throughout her life, Empress Sissi created a mythical status around her person. Even today, the life of Empress Elizabeth of Austria remains enigmatic. Historians, however, came across mysterious or even dark sides in the life of the beautiful Sissi during their studies, dispelling the cliché most people think of when they think of Sissi. Discover 10 facts you didn't know about Sissi in this video. 1. One must not turn down an emperor. This was the 15-year-old Sissi's answer to her mother's question as to whether she would accept Emperor Franz Josef's proposal. Her decision to marry Franz Josef was not characterized by love or romance. 2. Sissi spent her honeymoon in solitude. The newly married imperial couple spent their honeymoon at Luxembourg Palace. Even during this special time for newlyweds, Franz Josef attended to his official business from early in the morning until late in the evening, leaving his wife alone the entire day. Sissi did not like this time of solitude at all and suffered greatly from it, which is why she wrote sad poems during this time. 3. Sissi's marriage was very difficult. Sissi and Franz Josef had completely different interests. For Elizabeth, privacy was paramount. She loved history and poetry, was interested in philosophy and science, sympathized with the idea of an Austrian Republic, and enjoyed horse riding and mountain hiking. Franz Josef, however, was raised to be an emperor. He was filled with a sense of duty, affairs of state came first for him. After the birth of their fourth child, Elizabeth allegedly showed dispassion towards her husband to avoid further pregnancies and she sometimes flirted with her admirers without any serious interest in them. Today, this is thought to be an act of defiance, as Franz Josef did not treat his wife in an exemplary manner either. When doctors diagnosed Sissy to have a venereal disease, she realized that her husband had cheated on her. Elizabeth was very disappointed in Franz Josef and never forgave him for his infidelity. Sissi was not very loved by the Austrian people. Elizabeth, who married at the age of 16 and came directly from her familiar parental home in Possenhofen to the court in Vienna, was expected to immediately function as empress. But the obligation which came with the position, the strict life at court and the expectation of giving birth to an heir to the throne put too much pressure on the young Sissi. She enjoyed traveling a lot and thus often took breaks from being at court. The fact that her medical issues often required her to stay in a milder climate suited her very well. The Austrian people, however, did not appreciate having an empress who was not interested in the empire and instead was self-centered and only did what she felt like doing. 5. Sissi was prejudiced against less attractive people. Elizabeth placed great importance on her appearance. To remain slim, she followed a strict diet and had the gym installed in all of her main residences. As a result, she maintained an extremely slim waist circumference of 51 cm throughout her life. For Sissi, appearance was more important than someone's background or education, and this is why she insisted on surrounding herself with good-looking people. If a lady-in-waiting did not meet the Empress's aesthetic standards, the courtier was quickly swapped for somebody more attractive. This is why Elizabeth had so many different ladies-in-waiting throughout her life. In later life, she also had her court ladies examined for physical weaknesses. 6. Sissy drank meat juice in an attempt to remain young. As mentioned, Sissy watched her weight obsessively, and she never weighed more than 50 kilos, although she was 1.72 meters tall. By today's standards, this points to a severe eating disorder, most likely the Empress suffered from anorexia nervosa. Furthermore, Sissy was determined to prevent aging by drinking a juice made of squeezing beef or veal, a habit which was deemed repulsive by many. Even Sissy's husband, Franz Josef, dreaded the sight and smell of the drink. 7. Sissy had a love-hate relationship with her hairdresser. Aside from Sissi's desire to be slim, she placed incredible importance on her hair, which almost reached the floor. 
Her hairdresser, Fanny Feifalik, brushed Sissy's hair for hours, but had to take care not a single hair was pulled from Sissy's head. If the Empress noticed hairs on the brush, she would become enraged and she'd hit her hairdresser or the other servants present. To avoid Elizabeth tantrums, Sissy's servants attached adhesive tape to the underside of their aprons, to which they tried to stick the combed out imperial hair before Sissy noticed. On the other hand, Elizabeth's hairdresser, Fanny, was very well paid for her work at court and she was granted many privileges. Because Fanny Feifalik was slim and tall like the Empress, Sissy often had Fanny appear as a double on occasions where the Empress could only be seen from a distance. 8. Sissy despised her second daughter. One of the most important duties of an Empress was to provide the Empire with an heir to the throne. So it is needless to say that Sissy was extremely disappointed when her second child turned out to be a daughter. For Sissy, who was 19 years old at the time of Gisela's birth, the nightmare of a new pregnancy was imminent because a male heir was expected. Moreover, Elizabeth found her daughter Gisela unattractive. The Empress feared that no man would ever be interested in her ugly daughter and she therefore arranged the marriage between Gisela and Leopold of Bavaria. Soon after the wedding, Gisela became pregnant and made the then 36-year-old Sissi a grandmother. The vain empress resented her daughter for having made her a grandmother so young and avoided Gisela ever since. 9. Sissi did not get along with Queen Victoria Although Sissi and Queen Victoria had completely different worldviews, Franz Josef was keen for Sissi to meet the Queen. Therefore, in 1874, the Austrian imperial couple traveled to the Isle of Wight, where they met the English monarch. But the two ladies didn't get along at all. Victoria perceived Sissy as extremely vain, while Sissy considered Victoria to be a stuffy, humorless conversationalist and tried to draw Victoria out with vicious remarks while speaking very softly on purpose so it would be difficult for the hard-hearing Victoria to even understand her. 10. Sissy had a tattoo In 1888, at the age of 51, Sissy had the image of a small anchor tattooed on her shoulder in a tiny Greek harbor pub. The exact motives for this are not known. Perhaps she wanted to express her desire for freedom, her love for travel and, especially, of seafaring. Which of these traits do you find the most remarkable? Please let me know in the comments and thank you for watching.